What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we are going to be showcasing a character that unfortunately I didn't get an opportunity to showcase originally when he first came out into the game. That character being obviously Halloween Ace and this was definitely a left field choice as we already had received the Super Evolution for the month of October, that being Super Type Blackbeard and then throughout the Halloween celebration we were lucky enough to get our hands on yet another Super Evolution and the fact that Halloween Ace was chosen is just amazing. Now obviously there's a lot of Halloween Legends that they could have chosen, I believe at this point Halloween Ace is the oldest Legend that didn't have a Super Evolution being a Halloween unit so uh, this is a, a really really good choice because the character already had like the bare bones, like the, like the core of being a top tier unit, but with some more modern touch-ups, this character could really uh, show what he's able to do uh, and, and really compete with some of the other top tier characters. And I think that what they've done with his super evolution is incredibly strong. So let's go ahead and start breaking this guy down. Ace himself is an int shooter fighter and his captain ability, remember we're looking at his level limit break level 150 with limit break expansion my ace is limit break expanded so what you're seeing in this video is going to be the max capacity ace that you're going to get so ace's maxed captain is going to be minus two cooldown at the start of the quest to all characters and also providing an attack boost of five times to int shooter and fighter characters as well as providing a 1.5 health boost and making int sight and tandem slots matching and then the really neat effect of the character and the reason why he sees as much play as what he does is that he has the innate ability to remove the crew's special bind and special reverse by 10 turns inbuilt in his captain ability. So if you really have a look and compare what they actually did previous to this, looking at the uh, actual original ace, what they've done here is that they've added the cooldown reduction to his captain, which makes him kind of like a pseudo speed farmer, which is great. Always love additions of cooldown into captain abilities. But also, instead of just being a shooter and a fighter captain, which that was definitely the worst part to the component of this character was the fact that he didn't really have a lot of characters that he was able to boost you know shooters and fighters two pretty terrible classes in the game honestly but now they've gone ahead and say okay you know you can boost shooters and fighters still but now you can get access to int characters which adds a huge amount of characters to his array that you're able to apply to his crews which is amazing and then also, just a really neat added effect of making tandem slots matching on top of the pre-existing int and size slots, which I think is kind of fine. I think uh, recovery would have been probably a little bit better considering you can just use the whale shark ship to make um, tandem slots matching anyway. So the fact that he makes tandem matching does make sense with the rest of his kit, but it is what it is. And then the utility effect of his captain of special bind and special reverse removal didn't need to change. Really glad that they didn't really change at all. Um, so obviously a little bit of a downside that he doesn't have super type or super class because that would have helped him out even more. Unfortunately, characters do not gain that through their super evolution. And yeah, unfortunately, Ace was one of these characters that released before super types were input into the game. But realistically speaking, it's a five times captain to two classes and a color. He provides a huge health boost he provides minus two cooldown three of the seven natural slots is beneficial and then 10 turns of special bind and special reverse removal i don't really know what more you could ask for from a captain ability this is a fantastic captain that is going to see a lot of play and remember you don't have to use double ace even one ace is enough to get the ability to remove the special bind and the special reverse and you get all the benefits from from one ace and then you can have another captain be something else something that has a super type something that has a super class that you can abuse and synergize with this ace to go even further on with your team building through content. So now we need to talk about the other side of this character's kit that got a pretty significant increase with the additions of his super evolution and level limit break, and that's his special. So at a 12 turn cooldown, when you're completely maxed out, he now is a damage dealing special, doing 200 times his attack in int damage to all enemies. So the fact that he now is a damage dealing special allows you to input certain supports to get more additional effects, which is fantastic. Or you can use him for wave clearing mechanics, depending on what type of content you're coming up against. So I love the fact that they added damage to to his special. 
He also will still do the same thing of removing 10 turns of bind and still providing a 2.5 attack boost to shooters and fighters. However, that attack boost is now also including int characters as well. So that's awesome that he will now be an attack booster for the same classes and colors as his captain. Would have been a little bit bizarre if they, if they left that out. So that's all the same. But now they have an additional effect that says that if you already have an attack boost when you launch Ace's special, then he's going to provide a 2.25 color affinity boost to int shooters and fighters instead. So that's also pretty good in the fact that, you know, he kind of uh, loses a bit of that redundancy where, you know, you don't have to use him for the attack boost, you can use him for color affinity instead. And of course, whenever you launch the special, you're still doing the damage and you're still removing 10 turns of bind. So really, really cool so far. And then a further thing that they've added to this character um, is really unique in the fact that if you do have six tandem slots when you launch the special of Ace, he's going to enhance any orb boost on your crew to three times instead. And also, any chain lock that is on your crew will be buffed to 3.75 times instead. However, the caveat to buffing the chain lock to 3.75 is that if you use a chain boundary mechanic, Ace's special will change it into a normal chain lock. So you do have to be very careful in terms of how you're using this effect out. But at the end of the day, a 3.75 chain lock is pretty awesome. And there's not really any characters that I can think of that can give you a chain lock that exceeds that. The only one that I can think of would be uh, Tezora with his level 150. However, that does require a little bit of setup. So Ace technically can give you the best chain lock in the game. In order to do it though, you need to have a pre-existing chain lock and you need to have six tandem slots on the crew. So the condition is a little bit weird however you just got to think right you're not going to always get that to activate you just look at the bare bones special it's still damage dealing special still bind removal still an attack boost a 2.5 attack boost mind you but if you already have an attack boost you get color affinity instead it, just looking at this character at the bare bones the basics the core of the unit he still provides a lot to the crew you don't have to always fulfill that tandem condition to get the most out of him even though that condition is fantastic and you're able to uh, apply really cool things doing that it's not the end of the world if you don't get it but the way that this is actually supposed to work is the addition of the free-to-play Halloween Luffy. That Luffy will be able to change all of your slots into tandem, and then it also provides you with a chain lock. And then because that Luffy is also a damage dealing special, you can also put Halloween Law as a support on that Luffy. So you can use Luffy Special, which gives you the tandem slots, gives you the orb boost, gives you the chain lock. And then you can use the special ability of this 6 plus ace to change the chain lock into 3.75, change the support orb boost to a three times orb boost just think of that crazy how crazy that is right it's a it's a support effect that becomes a three times orb boost that's nuts and then you get ace's ability of a huge attack boost and if you have a secondary ace you can get a 2.25 color affinity as well so with three units you can get 2.5 attack 2.25 color affinity three times orb boost 3.75 chain lock it's pretty strong and that's going to kill a lot of things um so yeah i think the halloween ace is really cool and while the condition for this for the tandem effect for the for the orbs and the chain effect is cool you're not going to see it too often there aren't actually a lot of int characters in the game that actually give you a full board of tandem so that's uh, that's a little unfortunate um and there aren't too many like shooters or fighters that you can input onto the onto teams that can abuse a full board of tandem slots uh, unless if you're given block slots and then you can apply certain characters that way but realistically you're not going to see it too often but it is cool that the option is available if you have the space on your crew for that because uh, that's a lot of damage output that you can input and you got to think right if you're on a team such as that you still get all of the benefits from aces captains being able to reduce the special bind and the special reverse and aces special also giving you 10 turns of bind removal so the character has a lot of utility he has a lot of firepower lots of matching slots he has a lot of health boost as well what's not what's there not to like about this ace character he's really really good that's going to wrap it up for me though let me know your thoughts and opinions about ace down below in the comment section hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video